The internet as we know it works based on data centers, special facilities that host IT equipment and operation. Many of these data centers are centralized and owned by giants such as Amazon, Microsoft, and Google. That means we entrust our data to a handful of people who make decisions about the use of that data behind closed doors. Centralized data centers are also an easy target for attacks. And if they fail, users will be denied access to a number of everyday services. Internet Computer suggests an alternative to the current centralized internet cloud providers with their independent data centers banded together. Internet Computer creates a secure network by implementing advanced cryptography and a novel consensus protocol. The goal of the internet computer is to build a reliable, scalable, and high-speed network to host not only financial applications and games, but everything we can find on the internet today, from banking services to social networks. Let's go through the components of the network and see how Internet Computer brings its ideas to life. Internet Computer consists of data centers, which are scattered around the world, nodes, called replica nodes, or just replicas, and smart contract counterparts that are hosted on these nodes. These smart contracts are called canisters. However, don't be too quick to put an equal sign between smart contracts and canisters, because unlike ordinary smart contracts, canisters can perform their own computation of transactions. Canisters run applications written in a programming language specially developed by Internet Computer called Motoco. Yet, Internet Computer also has support for other common programming languages such as Rust or C and C++. Replicas receive transactions called messages in the Internet Computer Network and compile them into blocks, validate those blocks, and thus form a blockchain. Replicas communicate with each other using Internet Computer Protocol, or ICP. To make the network scalable, Internet Computer divides all nodes into groups, which are called subnets. One subnet equals one blockchain, and each subnet produces and validates its own blockchain. New subnets are constantly being added to the Internet Computer Network when the system sees that the existing subnet's workload is too heavy. To order the process of creating new blocks and to ensure high validation speed, Internet Computer introduced a novel consensus algorithm that consists of four main steps. First, there is block making. Different subnet replicas can play the role of a block maker, suggesting a new block to be included in the network. To prevent multiple replicas from simultaneously forming different blocks and thus splitting the network, Internet Computer uses a special mechanism for prioritizing replicas called Random Beacon. A replica creates a block from messages that are to be processed by a subnet's canisters then sends this new block to the network of other replicas to determine its validity, and so the notarization process can begin. Let's say a replica has seen a new block. It acts as a notary in this case. The replica considers this block valid and puts its notarization share, a kind of signature equivalent on it, which will be sent to other replicas. The others also consider this block valid and put their shares on it. If two-thirds of the subnet replicas think the block is valid, that is enough for the network. The network algorithm collects all the notarization shares and combines them into a single artifact called the notarization. It shows us that this block is valid and that the majority of the replicas have signed the message. This technology allows the network to compress multiple signatures on the same block into a single small signature, which means that even if a subnet has a lot of replicas, the notarization will still be small. Then, the final round of consensus, called finalization, begins, where the replicas agree to include the block in the network. Finalization helps to make sure that the notaries behaved honestly, and only one block is agreed upon in one round. This process aims to protect the network from creating more than one branch of the blockchain. Now, the consensus algorithm asks the notaries to share how many blocks they have notarized in that round. If a notary has not signed any other blocks in that round, it will create another type of signature, called finalization share. If enough replicas create finalization shares for the same block, 
they can be combined into one finalization, just like it was with notarization shares. Notarization and finalization shares are created in fractions of a second and help arrive at an agreement on the validity of a block in less than two seconds after it is proposed. But where do all these shares come from? On internet computer, shares are somewhat similar to signatures used in other blockchains. A validator signs a block using the validator's private key. The private key has an astronomical length and must remain secret. That is why a public key is used for verifying block signatures and transactions. It is generated based on a private key, but does not give out the private key itself. Internet computer has its own set of keys, public and private, not only for each validator, but also for each subnet as a whole. Thanks to an innovation called chain key cryptography, the project allows an entire subnet to have one public key and its corresponding private key to be split into shares. This technique makes internet computer secure. Shares of a subnet's private key are distributed across all replicas of that subnet so that the parts of the private key do not allow the entire key to be forged, and two-thirds of the replicas need to participate in order to jointly sign a block and generate a threshold signature. As a result, no single replica has the knowledge of the subnet private key, and yet collectively all replicas can work together to sign blocks that are verifiable by the subnet public key. Each block's signature can be checked for validity with regard to the public key of the whole subnet, and all public keys of all subnets can be checked for validity with regard to a single public key of the whole system, the public key of the internet computer. As a result, the validity of each transaction on the internet computer network can be verified just by having a single 48-bit public key of the internet computer, whereas in other chains, to verify the validity, one needs an abundance of data. Thus, Chain Key allows any device, including smartwatches and mobile phones, to verify the authenticity of artifacts from the internet computer. The keys are generated by the very first subnet of internet computer, which is responsible for the network at various levels, and it is called the Network Nervous System, or NNS. NNS can help create new subnets by generating public keys for them. Replicas in the new subnet will receive secret shares encrypted for each of them, with proofs showing the encryption process was correct. These proofs are called non-interactive zero-knowledge proofs. Key generation is not all that NNS is responsible for. The NNS subnet is also in charge of maintaining the governance process of the entire network, identifying governance participants and enabling the creation of proposals, as well as the distribution of the network's native token, ICP. If you want to know more about the tech behind internet computer, how canisters are considered superior to regular smart contracts, what cycles are, subscribe to our channel and hit the bell icon to keep up with the new videos.